Uh, welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this uh, example, I'm going to write a two column proof first and then a flow chart for this uh, geometrical proof. If you notice, it's given that angle MAN and angle NAT are complementary. And we can see that also in the picture because we see that right angle here. And we need to prove that the measure of angle NAT equals 20 degrees. So something is given and we need to prove something. And for that reason, we can use what is called a two column proof, which looks like this. Two columns. On one column, we're going to put statements. And on the other one, reasons. And always you start with what is given. In this case, angle M, A, N and angle N, A, T are complementary. And that is given. This is the first statement you want to write on a two column proof. Then we are going to move to the next statement, which is, needs to be connected with this one. So from here, the second statement that I'm going to write, of course, you don't have to do this arrow, is this one. The measure of angles M, A, N plus the measure of angle N, A, T is 90 degrees. This is what it means when two angles are complementary. That is the definition of complementary angles. And in this moment, I'm going to replace these two measures with what is uh, here. 2x plus 30 first. And then just x for a measure of angle and 80 equals 90. So this was nothing else than substitution property of equality. The next uh, thing I'm going to do is combine these two like terms, how it's called in the algebra. This is an algebraic proof from here. 3x plus 30 equals 90. For us in this moment, as a reason, I'm going to write distributive property. Now, the next step in this algebraic proof, geometrical proof, is to subtract 30, and we get here 3x equals 60, 90 minus 30 is 60, and we, do, we did a subtraction, so subtraction property, subtraction property of equality, then we're going to divide by 3 to solve for x, and we get x equals 20, and that is, like I said, division, divide, division, property of equality. And one more step, we need to go back and replace this x in this expression. And we're going to have the measure of angle NAT equals 20 degree, and that will be substitution. We go back, right? Substitution. Substitution, property of equality. And that is what we call a two-column proof for this problem. On my next slide, I'll show you the same problem, but now I'm going to use what is called a flowchart, which is another way to write a proof, but we're going to use boxes and arrows. The first thing I'm going to start with is the same given statement. So I'm going to need a big box, but that's the reason I'm going to write first the statement, angle M, A, N, and angle N, A, T, N, A, T are complementary. So this is my first box, which is given to us. Okay, 
what will be my next box? My next box will be the fact that the sum of these two angles is 90 degrees. And it comes from this statement here. So I'm going to have the measure of angle M A N plus plus the measure of angle N A T equals 90 degree. Okay. This is the second box, which is the result, the logic connection between this first box and the second one. And the reason is definition of complementary angles. Okay, my next thing will be to replace these measurements with the uh, Expression given, you remember in this problem we have those two, 2x plus 20 and x. So that will be my next thing. Measure of uh, angle MAN, if you remember, that was 2x plus 30. The measure of angle NAT, that was x equals 90. That will be my next box, which is the result of the previous box, which is the substitution. Okay, the substitution property of the equality. Now I'm going to combine like terms how we see in algebra. 2x plus x, that is 3x plus 30 equals 90. That will be the next box. And I said combining like terms, but here the property will be the distributive property. My next property will be to my next step will be to subtract 30 so, and I get 3x equal 60 on both sides, right? And this is the subtraction property. I'm going to do one more step. And you notice I don't have step uh, enough space, so I can't. Uh, you can go any direction, in fact. I go left and I'm going to get x equals 20 if I divide by 3. And this is the division property. And I have one more step. We finish kind of the algebraic step. We're going to go back and replace this x in uh, our original problem. And we're going to have here the measure of angle NAT equals 20 degree. And this is substitution going back. Okay, and this is the uh, flowchart for this problem. This is a kind of a easy flowchart. Every single logic statement is the result of the previous logic statement. Sometimes it's not like that. But uh, that's it for this problem. If you enjoyed this um, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.